Mr Speaker, 15 tax rises and we're sat for the highest tax burden since rationing. <laughs> he says the economy is booming when it's shrinking. He's, he's game playing so much. He, he, he thinks he's on Love Island. <laughs> Trouble is, Prime Minister, I, I'm reliably informed that contestants that give the public the ick get booted out. Yeah. And it's, it's not just low growth. He's also lost control of inflation. He was warned about this last September. And what did he do? He dismissed it. He didn't act. He sat on his hands. Now prices are through the roof and we're set to have the highest inflation in the G7. When will he accept he got it badly wrong when he claimed that worries about inflation were unfounded? Mr Speaker, we're helping people with the cost of living uh, with £1,200. Uh, on the 14th of July, the money will be going into people's bank accounts. W why can we do that, Mr Speaker? Because we have the fiscal firepower to do it, uh, because the economy is in robust shape, uh, with record numbers of people in payroll employment, uh, Mr Speaker. And that is thanks to the steps that we took uh, that he continuously opposed. And if he wants to, and I just remind Mr Speaker, he has a chance. I won't, I won't say this interrogatively, Mr. He has the chance now to clear it up. Uh, he can oppose the Labour's rail strikes right now. Say, he, can, he can disagree. He can disagree. And give him that opportunity. Let him disagree with the union barons who would add to people's costs in the coming weeks. Mr Speaker, I don't want the strikes to go ahead. He does so he can feed on the division. 